Here we have a typical example, uh, a typical exam example of using the factor and remainder theorem. And a lot of people make this a very, very complicated question and it can be solved in a beautifully simple way. So we've got uh, our cubic polynomial and we have a couple of unknown uh, constants in there. But we've got some information about it. We know it's divisible by x minus 2. We know there's a remainder of 5 when divided by x minus 1. So whatever you do, don't start that long division process, OK? You only do that long division process in the exam if you're actually asked to do it. You can always get round it. If it's divisible by x minus 2, then function 2 must be 0. That's what the factor theorem says. If it gives a remainder of 5 when divided by x minus 1, then function 1 must equal 5. That's what the remainder theorem says. So we've got the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. So what is function 2? Well, it's 8 plus 8 plus 2k minus q, and that has to be 0. What is function 1? It's 1 plus 2 plus k minus q, and that has to be 5. So our first equation is 2q minus, sorry, 2k minus q equals minus 16, and this one k minus q, 3 here to take away from 5, equals that. So we have a pair of very simple simultaneous equations. And the easiest way to solve them is to subtract because they've both got negative q. So 1 take away 2 gives me k equals negative 18. From the second one, Put q over there, 2, k minus 2 equals q, k is minus 18, so q is minus 20. So I've done the first bit, no hassle. So that means that my cubic is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 18x minus 20. We know... Let's be proper, shall we, and put the three lines here. We know that x minus 2 is a factor. We don't really want to do long division, so we can avoid it. That must be x squared in order to give me x cubed. Negative 20 <coughs> means negative 2 times plus 10. Now, I've got negative 2x squared, I need to get plus 2, which means that must be plus 4x squared. How do I get that? I get it if that's plus 4x. I've now got x equals 2 as one solution to function x equals 0 or this quadratic. And let's check the discriminant of that quadratic. Remember, discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So that's 4 squared minus 4 times 10, which is negative, which means that that has no solutions. The quadratic bit has no solutions. So the solutions to function x equals 0 there's only one solution, x equals 2. And you see how nice that solution is. It's pretty painless, really. Please don't uh, go down the long division route unless, unless you really have to. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but 
what we want to do first is get all of these X's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3X, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3X equals 12. Oh, and so X equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.